We gave ourselves a chance to win tonight. I thought we did a lot of things um, to a level that when you do, you will win games in the NBA at home. Uh, now you can't always uh, say that that's going to be true, and tonight it wasn't. But defensively, we were battling. We were, um, you know, we out rebounded them. Uh, we hit more free throws than them. So uh, we did a lot of things well tonight. Uh, it's just tough when you're down and you're losing games, and uh, you see it seems that all the, the the bounces, the calls, all the the 50 50 things just happen to go against you. So uh, that's not me feeling sorry for us. That's me say, telling the guys, look, we gotta we gotta keep playing this hard and, and find a way to scrap the next win out because it's the only way uh, you know to get off the type of to get off the type of skid that we're on and. Uh, but I, I do give our guys a, a lot of credit for coming and, and, and competing like that again tonight. Um, unfortunately, ended up in a loss again. Luke, especially in the first half, it seemed like there were just a lot of open shots missed, and you've seen that theme this year. Have you ever been able to put your finger on on that? And Do you think it's been something that's been consistent in that way? No. Um, you know, we have we got belief in our guys, and, you know, we tell them, uh, if we're open, we gotta we gotta take those shots. You know, it's in, in the NBA, if you know a good shot, uh, a lot of times if you turn down a good shot, you're gonna end up tur driving into traffic or or end up turning the ball over or taking a uh, you know uh, not as good shot. So uh, we we continue to encourage our guys. We just have to we just gotta uh, knock them down when we get our opportunities. Obviously, the margin ended up being more than two, but um, did you ever get an explanation on that that goaltending? Or excuse me, uh, shot clock violation call that seemed to be that was goal. I mean, that was a shot clock. The one that, was, yeah, I, I no. They told me they were going to see if they can review it. Um, so I assumed that we were going to be good because it was a shot clock. I mean, the the clock went to zero. The light came on. Everybody stopped playing, and then they grabbed the ball and laid it in. So. Um, I, I don't. I never heard why they were not able to review it, um, but you know, there's. You know, that's we talk about the the bad breaks when you're struggling. That's one of them. Um, you know, uh, Ed Davis throwing Javel to the ground for his sixth foul, and then not getting, and then the foul being called on someone else. It's another bad break. But that's not. Um, you know, those are just – that's how it works. You know, there's still plenty of things we can do to control it, even when, uh, you know, those don't go in your favor uh, to win a game. So uh, we have to continue to get better. We have to continue, um, you know, to, to, sh to shoot the ball with confidence. Uh, but most importantly, we have to continue to play as hard as, as the guys played again tonight. Was there anything you talked to the guys about in terms of finding a particular motivation or was there any sense you got from maybe any conversations you had that what their motivation was tonight? No. Um, my message pregame was pretty basic, simple. It's, you know, as the men and competitors that we are, um, we owe it to ourselves, our teammates, our fans, and the game of basketball to play as hard as – we can and compete as hard as we can, no matter what our record is. So, uh, you know, nothing, nothing special. Just the truth of you know what you know where we're at as a as a group. And uh, I thought we did a nice job of giving that type of effort tonight. Look, look, you guys were officially eliminated tonight from the playoffs. So, what would be the message going forward, and how does it same you, message? How does it feel sort of to know that you can't make the playoffs now? It's the same message. It's, um, you know, and it's going to be that message every day for the for the final, uh, you know, three weeks. It's it's still about um, players getting better. It's still about going out there and respecting the game and giving uh, giving everything we have to try to win. Uh, we owe that, like I said, to ourselves, our teammates, the organization, to the fans. Um, so it'll it'll be a lot of that, and I fully expect our guys to continue to uh, to to give that. Um, well, we got to see how he feels after the, you know the fall he took. We'll be cautious with him, uh, with all of our guys more so now. Um, 
than earlier in the season, but that's, you know, we won't even get into that until tomorrow and see how he feels and then Sunday, and then we'll kind of come up with a game plan from there. Uh, Coach Ryder, um McGee had a career night. Also, talk about the fans support supporting the Lakers all year. They're awesome. The, the, the Laker fans, I've always said it, they're, they're incredible. They, they show so much love around the city. Um, they show up, sell out every game. Um, you know, like BT said, we're officially out of the playoffs now. This place will still be packed on Sunday, and they'll still uh, be, be cheering and supporting. So uh, a lot of love to them. Um, yeah, just just in terms of uh, JaVale, what, what do you think unlocked his game a little bit tonight and, and sort of made him be able to kind of open up the, the lanes and opportunities for that? Well, I thought he did a nice job of uh, attacking gaps. Um, when uh, Allen is constantly looking to help, and not just against us, but every time you watch film on him, he roams and he's good at it. And I thought JaVel did a really nice job of getting below him uh, and getting out of his uh, his line of sight and then attacking gaps any time he left. In our, and then you got to give uh, teammates credit for finding him and, and uh, making unselfish plays.